I know you're going to get loud. He's a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish for Gerald Swindle. Five fish here today. 17 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into 19th place. Let's hear it for the G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Seventeen pounds, seven ounces, sitting in nineteenth place. Pretty good start to the season. Well, for an old fella, you know, we eased out there a little bit. I had a lot of fun today. I fished with a young high school angler named Hunter, and uh, there's three of them out there high school that came to fish. And I didn't teach him any cuss words. I'm telling his mama that he he already knew them. I'm on, no, I he really didn't. <laughs> but he did take a little old nap, and I tell you what he don't like. He don't like you throwing worms at him when he's sleeping. But he don't realize I got just as bored as he did about middle of the day. But it's fun to see those young anglers come out and be a marshal and kind of witness the program. And I think it's really good and hats off to them because one of the things it's going to teach them, Dave, I think, is in this professional atmosphere, the etiquette on the water, how people handle situations. I think it's such a good deal to teach these kids that as they go into the next level of the sport. They, if you see how the pros handle it on the water and how we should handle it, not saying we always do it right, it's a, it's a good example for him. So I enjoyed having a youth. Now, he has some big hair, big hair. I thought I was going to run 74 in that Phoenix, but it's about 72 with that big flow of hair he had. I told him to wet it, slick it back a little bit. He's slowing me down. I mean, you did your job this year. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's fast hair right there, son. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. If my, if, my, if my retirement account would go up like my hair did sometime, it'd be nice. Yeah, anything else? I noticed you had a first class seat on a plane from Canada down here. What was that all about? Just be honest. Lisa's up here, Chase is backstage. You spent the entire budget on your first ticket. I did, I did. I can't come to any more events the rest of the season, but man, it was an incredible seat. Had a little massager, did all sorts of, they served meals and courses up there. It was really a lot of fun. You got out of the frozen tundra, came down to the warm weather and come first class. Yeah. Good to see you, Dave. I'd like to see everybody here today. I think tomorrow's going to be interesting again. We're going to just kind of get out there and fish around. You got to get a couple of big bites. You got to execute. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Wise man once told me it doesn't cost any more to go first class. You just can't stay as long. 24 pounds, 9 ounces. 24, 9 gives him 42 pounds even, and he moves into second place currently. The good news is you're in the thick of this, and uh, we're going to be battling it out and watching you do it all weekend long. I hope so, and I'm glad to be sponsored by Dude Wipes today, because that was the first bite I got was at 8-3, and I went to lip him, and I got my hands on him, then I dropped him back in the lake. Yes, at that moment where I didn't know if I was Pentecostal or Baptist, but I was asking Jesus for help, and I needed something on my backside. I, I chased him around like I had three or four fingers just in his mouth. I got him in, I said, that might have been the ugliest fish landing and Cobb's fishing across the cove, he goes, that even scared me. I'm like, shut up, respect your elders, young man. And then he shows out and starts catching big ones and just sits down and starts eating a sandwich watching me. I said, now that's disrespectful right there. You know you got a big bag, you gonna eat a sandwich. He said, well, you got Lulu's sandwich bag, I got Fig Newtons. I said, point in case I win. <laughs> your open win happened in the great state of Florida. How about making an Elite Series win right here in Okeechobee, Florida? I'm going to give it a shot, man. I think Lake Okeechobee's showing out. I think they're going to bring them in today, and it's, it's going to be fun to be back out there. we got a different direction win, so it's going to change it up. we got to use our head to stay focused. It's, uh, it's uh, The guys back here talking about how out of shape some guys are, because when you run somewhere and just grind for eight and a half hours, man, you physically are just beat running back in. So we got to get some rest, do an ice bath tonight, come out and do it again tomorrow. All right. Enjoy your ice baths. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I, that's where I live in an ice bath. 13 pounds and an ounce inside the cut, currently in seventh place with 55 pounds and an ounce. Ladies and gentlemen, get loud for G, Gerald Swindle. 55 pounds and an ounce. G, a good start to the season. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, folks, it, it's a little windy out there. I'm, I mean, these guys going to say, boy, I like wind to blow. No, I don't. I'd rather listen to nine Taylor Swift albums locked in a Porter John's I would fish in the daggum wind. That's what, and I said it, I meant it, yep. I know every time her songs come on, I start studying trees to hit that Toyota. I'm like, God, 
600 love songs about how her relationship didn't work out. I just want to send her a message and say, you might want to look at yourself. I mean, my uncle got married five times. They give him a permit now, not a license. He said, I just can't find the right woman. I said, that's a parent, son. It's a parent. But pretty tough out there. Didn't get a lot of bites. Uh, thought I found them yesterday and, and went in that area this morning. Had one big bite and had another one get after it. But the fish just would not come up with the sunshine. They wouldn't suspend. And what I'm doing is I'm just throwing a chatterbait and a zoom mag, speed worm, just trying to go as slow as I could around some of the bases of the reeds. A little bit of high driller mixed in, and it was just a grind for me today. I, the wind is aggravating. I like to make pinpoint casts real fast and move along, but the wind made it tough, but it was fun to be out there. Uh, Dave, I got my new line of rods out with 13, the Metal Series rods and reels, to catch all them fish on my new chatterbait rod. If anybody's interested in it, it's $150. The reel's $150. Tackle Warehouse has got them. Dick's Academy, that's a shameless plug, but baby needs new shoes. I got grandchildren trying to go to college. Y'all, please support the G-Man, buy some poles, okay? I ain't, I'm telling you, I just, you know, I don't know how else to say it. Brother needs to eat. I'd like to thank you for being the world's first honest professional angler. A two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Gerald Swindle with five fish here today. Looks like a decent start to things here on day number one. 16 pounds, two ounces. He moves into third place currently. 16 pounds and two ounces for Team Toyota's Gerald Swindle. 16-2. That's a decent way to get this started off. You know, got to get out of the gate without falling down. You know, you just try to rev the motor up. Don't dump the clutch. Leave the transmission at the racetrack. You just ease into it, but... Looked like in that line back here, I might have should have revved it up about halfway through the day. I see some pretty nice fish coming in. And Seminole's been tricky. Practice was not, didn't lead you to think that everybody was going to have 15 or 16 pounds. I was actually pretty excited when I got to 16 pounds thinking, hey, this is going to be okay. Because practice had been really slow day. But we got a new moon. The temps are warming up. So Seminole's going to show up. And you'll show up. You always do. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. 16-2 yesterday, today. 16 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 20th place with 32 pounds and 13 ounces. And Gerald Swindle will be fishing on semifinal Saturday at the Gamagatsu Bassmaster Elite on Lake Seminole. Gee, you are being incredibly consistent in a tournament that has been incredibly inconsistent. <laughs> hey, this sucker right here. Make you talk French. I know why John Anderson wrote that song Seminole Win right now. He wanted to blow to get him out of here. This place, this place needs more liquor stores around it. Cause you fish here, you gonna have a drink before you get home. I promise you. Yeah, if I hit one more stump, my knees pop. I'm gonna say things that ain't nobody ever heard. Of. I'm so tired of getting beat and banged on. The wind's blowing every day. I'm like, man, you just drifting along, peaceful, just trying to sing a song. And next thing you know, I'm just like end over end like an old mother cow, just. Tits up, there I go, laying on the back deck. I'm like, well, ain't this something? And ain't nobody here to watch it. And I'm like, this is a deadly place. There's probably a knee replacement clinic around here somewhere that's just booming with business because over 50 and you're out there, you need a handicap chair to lean on because that's when that wind blows, you don't, and they just pop up like landmines. Boom, there you go. He's on the floor. What happened? I don't know. Sniper shot me. I don't know. I'm tired of hitting stuff. I'm lucky to be here today. I want to come back and do it again tomorrow. I got to stay consistent. I got to get a couple of big bites. I got to get that 20 pound bag to make it that top 10. Enjoy the ice bath tonight. Gerald Swindle, he'll be here all week. Try the veal. 32 pounds and 13 ounces to start the day on semifinal Saturday. 11 pounds, five ounces. Lock it in. It is, it, it's over. 44 pounds, 2 yeah. ounces here in 20th. That's not bad. It says 11.5, but what y'all can't say, there's a little letter right here that says, you suck right beside it. <laughs> we, would ne we would never do that. Not in front of your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you and I have this relationship that we can pretty much say whatever. Yeah. Right? Can come most times, yeah. Yeah, I can see your look in your eye. It's not a love look. It's like you're looking at me with this gaze of, you suck today. Oh, no, dude, who thinks G sucked today? Who thinks there was other guys that were a lot better than G today? I, 
they're evidently delusional. I'm sorry. Best part about my day was I run that PHX Phoenix. I passed me six of them going down, son. I was reeling them in. I had old flashbacks of Dale Jr. I was cutting corners in behind them islands. I said, if I'm going to hit a stump and go to heaven, I'm going to be in a hurry when I get there. I just hope they're biting at the pearly gates, son, because I had her skint back all the way. I told that guy, I said, if you ain't rubbing, you ain't racing, and if you ain't trying and cheating, you don't lose anyway. Let's go. He said, you ever run this for? I said, nope, don't want to do it again, but this morning it felt like a good idea. So I got a good idea for y'all. Let's start a lottery. I see you got a lottery down here. We need to start a lottery, raise a whole bunch of money, drop a lake eight foot, cut all the stumps off, put them on the bank. We have a nice recreation lake. We save a lot of money on lower units. The government don't get it. I don't see any issues with that. What's the problem? Because ain't nobody out here can tell me y'all like all them stumps. There ain't no way. My boat's been on the air, cockeyed, leaning sideways. I mean, I've been hey, drinking out of one side. My master's falling on the other side. We're just idling in. High center, the motor comes out of the water. I said, we'll fish right here for a little while, bud. Other than that, everything was good, right? It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, when you hit them stumps out there, I'm telling y'all, uh, tip to self. Here's your pro tip of the day. If you're going to fish Seminole the night before tournament, don't eat a lot of spicy anchovy heaters or nothing. Because you can't relax. You hit one of them stumps. It ain't it ain't what you think it's going to be. Thank God those dude wipes all in that boat because I needed them. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Gerald Swindoll. I think this crowd is going to get a little bit crazy well, down day. You know, he's kind of quiet and shy, but maybe you can bring him out of his shell. He's from Guntersville, Alabama. Here comes Gerald Swindle. He is a former Bassmaster Open winner. He is a two time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, the incomparable G Man. Gerald Swindle. Three fish here today. Looking clean. Well, there hasn't been a lot of fish weighed in, I gotta be honest. A little menthol. Look at that. Look at the weight. Three bass for four pounds and 12 ounces. Get loud, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you, you made four pounds, 12 ounces look cool. I smacked them in the face with that balling out jig. They don't weigh much, but they all need some goodie powders. I can tell you that, because I've slack lined every one of them. Two of them skinny as I can nail it, man. Them things don't, they just whack one side. Killing me, I tell you. Fort Loudon's got more fish in it than we're able to show out on this thing, but I'm telling you, the water moves up and down around here like one of my aunts and nieces, you know. They're crazy, you gotta watch it. Kind of reminds me of them old southwestern hookers. The water's just up and down and up and down. Somebody call the guy down there that's got the plug in the lake and say, just hold her still, Hammer. Just sit still. It ain't hot. It ain't cold. Just let it sit still. Because the fish don't know if they need to swim around left, right, get on a pole, a rock, dance. I mean, Gussie's got the only ones, and I think it's just because he wears flannel. And, and if I can pull it off, I'm cutting the sleeves out of me a flannel shirt and look like a lumberjack tomorrow. I got to do better than this, I mean. But it looks like y'all turned out and showed out up in this place, didn't you? How many Vol fans we got up in here? I mean, I can't hide it, y'all just whooped us. I mean, I'll be honest with you. But I've run down two tanks of gas trying to find that gold post in the water out there so I can catch a bass on it. So next time y'all throw it in, leave the daggum thing in there. Y'all can't tell I'm struggling. I ain't got but three of them. I fished exactly the way I thought I needed to today to try to have a chance to win. And I slowed down and grinded it out and I committed to it. It just didn't work out. I got tomorrow. I think I got an area I may could catch 15 pounds. I can get back in it. I'm gonna do all I can not to work the show. So y'all just be ready. I'm bringing the house tomorrow, son. I'm loading her up and skinning her back. When I head down river tomorrow, Ricky Bobby, you better look out. Cause I don't care how many mud flats is out there, I'm in a hurry in the morning. Me and that PHX is gonna get right tight and that mercury's gonna be breathing, son. I'm gonna just be hunting people to pass and y'all get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. <laughs> Four pounds, 12 ounces yesterday. 
A little better, should be about 5-1, son. I'm consistently going to drive the suck bus. 6-5, <laughs> boys, looky there, huh? Food everybody. Let, hey, let me hold this one up that weighs two pounds, because I looked all over this lake for one of these. Dear God, let this one live to be nine years old. <laughs> Dave, this place has got my number, man. And I know a lot of folks, when we come in, they say, gee, man, we got you to win this thing. You're a junk fisherman. I'm like, I appreciate the credit and the thoughtfulness, but this place truly has got my number. I mean, I can, I flipped a big jig, threw my ball and out jig today, and I caught a lot of fish. I just can't catch five people. And it's one of them that... I mean, I've been in some bad situations in my life, you know. There was a time at band camp, and then, then there was today. But I'm telling you, about noon, I swear I thought I was locked in a porta john listening to Taylor Swift album on Rewind, just one right after another. I mean, and you, when you fish Fort Loudon, here's your choice. You can fish the rocks on the right side of the lake or the rocks on the left side of the lake. And for a guy that has a lot of attention deficit disorder, I struggle with that right there. So. It's not been the one I wanted, but I came into this thing trying to fish the wind, Dave, and I knew I knew what I had to do, and I just didn't get it done. And it, you know, I got no regrets. Hey, I want to say hey to my grandbabies. Hey, where y'all at? I got my grandchildren here. It's the first way in that my grandbaby boy's been here. My little little baby girl, she's been the one already. So it's good to have the family here. Hey, let me take this from you. Hey, before Dave gets off here and I have to go home, Dave never. This guy right here don't get enough credit. And I know y'all sit through a lot of weigh-ins. This is the best MC that has ever graced the stage of bass of all times. He does not read cue cards. He does not have a mic in his ear telling him what to say. When you hear Dave rattle off them stats, it's all by memory. Every angler that comes in, he knows his highest credential, what he's done, what he stands for, for us, the anglers, when we come up here, he makes this easy. Dave Mercer, you're one of the great ones. I got you. Let's hear it for the, wait, don't leave. Come here, come here, come here. I have one question that's burning in my head. After all that nice, let's, let's get back. Did you really go to band camp? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I went to college, but uh, I dated a girl went to college, but when they find out you don't go to college there, they will make you go home. And, uh, that wasn't a great experience for me. I, I mean, I seen her studying, but I didn't learn a lot. So there you go, kids. If you're out here and you don't have a chance to go to college and fish, and you're a high school angler, look at myself. I didn't go to college. I don't have a marketing degree. I don't have a bachelor's degree. I got a BS degree. I carved my own road in life. I had no game plan when I left the country home from a farmer. All I knew is if, if I could get paid to fish, I'll figure it out. So for all you kids that say, you think with that, if you don't have a lot of money, my daddy can't buy me a brand new Phoenix or Mercury, he don't have to. Your daddy don't have to. All you gotta have is a whole lot of heart and drive. You will figure out a way to stand where I am because I did it and I didn't have any of that. Let's hear it for the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle, a Team Toyota Pro. He's a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, a Bassmaster Open winner from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Hey, Davey Dave. Hey, Jim. How are you doing, sweetheart? Five fish here today. <laughs> Five fish here today. 14 pounds, 9 ounces, puts you in 35th place. And, uh, I mean, going to keep you in it, but tomorrow going to be a pressure day to stay in that top 50. It's uh, 35th out of what, like 38? Oh, 50. You beat 15 dudes. So Smoked them. If you do the math on that, so if I, we weighed in 50 and I beat 15, I'll be 70th. Got a lot of work to do tomorrow. I mean, it's doing basic math on it. I mean, I, I didn't count the votes in the election, but I know halfway through the weigh-in, if you only beat 15 when it's over, you're only going to beat 30. That's just how it works. I know you. I was working that out too, but I was trying to be politically correct and like, well, you know, you beat somebody. You got to give me tough love, Dave. Sometimes you just got to reach back and slap me because that. Man, well, I didn't mean that literally because I know you, but I mean I know that I know the reality of it is I thought it was going to take 15 and a half a day to check. I got to go out there tomorrow and get a few big bites. The other guys are doing it, so I'm just going to go dig my head out of my butt, eat me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and come back and do it tomorrow. Make it happen. Look forward to seeing you back here. Let's hear it for Swindle. Keep that noise going. 
14 9 yesterday, and, and oh, that looks like a hook got awful close to a part of your body you don't want a hook in. About got my glider and my slider. <laughs> 14 10 today, 29 pounds, 3 ounces, 59th place currently outside of the cut, but um, that's got to put perspective. Things could be, a l I mean, they were very close to being a lot worse. Yeah, it was close. They say it close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, but I beg to differ. When you got one of them big glide baits coming back at you and it hits you around them areas, close is a long way away is all I needed to know. <laughs> and my wife's going to be upset and had to cut them britches off of me. I'm like, well, there you go. Brand new shorts. I caught 14 pounds, about hooked my glider, my slider. I broke off 32 liters. I run every point out there that ain't somebody on, and that's only like four points, because I don't know what these people do for a living, but they do not work, and they leave at like 3.17 in the morning going out there to get on these points, and I, I didn't get a bite on them, and then you talk to guys back there, man, I pulled up on a point, and they smoked my top water. We go play the lottery, son, is all I can tell you, because... I have twitched and popped and dog walked and burned a fluke, and I don't care if I ever see a blue back heroin smoker again in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Gerald Swindle. He is a two-time Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama. The incomparable do man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish here today for Gerald Swindle. 13 pounds, 13 ounces, puts you in 40th place right now. And, uh, gee, this one uh, got a lot of anglers scratching their heads. They're scratching more in my head, I can tell you that, man. I I thought if I could just get some bites, I could catch a big one, and I finally figured out how to get bites, and I just never got a big bite today. So, and the two or three bedding fish I found, I don't know, they they gone. they like Hunter Biden's laptop. they just gone. I have no idea. They checked out, went somewhere else. I, <laughs> I've looked around there and sat and waited for them. I've sung little baby Jesus jokes to them. They ain't coming back. So tomorrow i got to regroup, figure out what's going on. I think I'm just going to let my hair grow out like Robinson or just get me a mullet or something. That guy's just crazy on fire right now. Really? That, he's, day one has been incredible. Everywhere he goes. Everywhere. 25 pounds. You can just go ahead and say, what's Matt going to have tomorrow? 25 pounds. Now, if he can hold all the ship together tomorrow, he might have 25 more again. But you knew last week he was hot wiring, jump wiring, he ripped the dash out. And the most impressive thing last week is at 11 o'clock, the first day he had zero. And then he still caught 25. I said, dude, this guy gave me a four-hour head start and still beat me. I'm starting not to be his biggest fan now, but I'm going to regroup. It's, uh, it's good. You know, Santee's good, and you go out there and get two big bites, you can change it all up. Looking forward to seeing how it works out for you. Always great to have Gerald Swindle with us. He's a two-time Angler of the Year, a former Bassmaster Open winner from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. And now leading it with the smallest bag of the tournament. Put that on my resume, huh? 13-13, not even close to the smallest bag in this tournament, my friend. Four fish today, 6-5, gives you 20 pounds and two ounces. 6-5. That's just disgusting right there. I mean, I, I feel like I've just been better off to poop in both hands and start clapping halfway through the day. Turn around and look at my marshal about noon. I said, I'd be double dipped in dog crap and rolled down a rock road if I'd do this one more time. I've skipped them daggum trees and that, I call it Sasquatch hair hanging off there. If that worm hits that little old, whatever that stuff is, that Spanish moss, that Spanish moss has blocked more shots than Shaquille O'Neal has in his career. Because I promise you, if it ever gets your worm, you're going over there. And what really pisses you off when you jerk it out of the Spanish moss, it wraps around the limb, and then there's a red wasp over there. So then i got to break it all off, and then i got to get my readers out to tie a 14-foot leader on there, triple overhand FG knot, and a wacky-style worm to skip over and break it off again. So me and Santee Cooper, we got a love-hate relationship. I won my first AOY standing right here in this parking lot by one point. So every time I come here, that's a, a real good memory for me. But today... I just, I felt like I was just really in one of them bad mobile home marriages, you know what I mean? Like, where everything was going wrong and I knew I was gonna lose my trailer and my truck and I didn't have a job and there, there I was about noon. But I did tell you what, I endured through it and I caught my fourth keeper with two minutes left. So the positive mental attitude counts for something and I caught him right across from the ramp and if I had time, I'd eat him tonight. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Swindle, let's hear it for him. Alabama, I know you're going to get very loud for your very own. He is a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Yes. We're trying to add the 
Five fish here today, 9-13, puts you in 32nd place, and um, this is your home state. I mean, it, it's all under control, right? That 9-13 that on the scales, but they, they actually relate to 13. I mean, that's what they told me when they got them out. They said, we feel like we're 13. I said, well, we're going to let Lisa call that on, and we're not going to argue with that. I used to love to come down to Lay Lake. I grew up fishing down here, driving back and forth fishing, and it's, just, it's changed a lot, Dave, and it, since, uh, you know, I hadn't fished down here much in the last eight or nine years, but it has changed a lot. It seems to be a lot tougher just to get bites, so uh, i got to make a few key adjustments. I was really puzzled this morning. I couldn't catch them on a buzz bait. I couldn't catch them on a swim jig, which I think these fish have seen so many swim jigs. When you get it out of the box, you see the grass shake where they're running trying to get up over somebody's dock. I mean, i seen two of them sitting up under a dog in a yard. I said they have been – Wes Logan has thrown at them to their give out, so – I'm going to make a few adjustments tomorrow, see if I can slow down and get a couple of key bites. As long as I had around 10 pounds, I think you can stay in it, so we're hanging in. Hanging in? I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Nine pounds, 13 ounces yesterday. A little worse today. A little worse today, he says. Five fish here today. Seven pounds, 12 ounces gives him 17 pounds and nine ounces. You move into 58th place. Well, I'm, let's not worry about that. Any plans tonight? Well, you know, I've, I've got a lot of plans. I don't need to say in front of all you people. And I had somebody ask me, said, man, you want to buy a house down here? I said, no, and if I had a house down here, I'd like to tell you what I'd do with it. <laughs> I mean, I'd get the insurance money when I got done with it and moved to Gunnersville. I said, this place has whipped me down, and I... I grew up fishing down here. Uh, I'm supposed to know how to catch them. I just never got any big bites. I've been high, low. I've went up river, down river. I've swam my jig. I've burned it through grass. I've buzz baited. If you want to know what capital punishment feels like, tie you on a white swim jig and just go out there and start down the river for nine hours. That's what it's like to be in prison, I'm sure. Because if you do get a bite, God forbid, you're not going to hook him. You're going to leave there and need Jesus when you get done. That's exactly what it is. And the grass has got some kind of methamphetamine flavor to it because it just draws you over there even when you know you need to leave. You look at that grass and it looks like some of my kin folks at them cookouts we used to have. they like, man, he got beer. I just go right to the grass. There I go again. Six hours later, I was like, I'm not going back to the grass. 20 minutes later, I'm back in the grass. I'm like, what am I doing? So I don't know, Dave. Made a few mistakes. I hadn't really fished that bad in the last three tournaments. I just hadn't gotten any key bites. So that's what the positive mental attitude is all about. You just keep grinding. It's just a couple of derbies in a row that you don't get the key bite, but you don't let it bother you. You keep shucking and jiving and moving. It's good to see everybody down here at Lay Lake, but God knows. We need to figure out who owns this great big house and just see if he'll put some fish back in here. Looks like he's got plenty of money. He's got a $10 million home, a couple of hundred thousand. We could stop up beeswax right here and have ourselves a Tuesday night fruit jar derby. Ladies and gentlemen, Gerald Swindle, he'll be here a week. Try the veal. He's a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish for Gerald Swindle here today. Five pounds and an ounce moves into 20th place currently. And boat one, you were boat one today. Did that help you? Heck no, that's what I told my wife. That's a, I think I've only drawn out uh, number one in my career twice, and I've been angler of the year that year. So this was my third time they beat out number one. I said, I ain't got nowhere to go. Coming to the ramp, she said, where are you going to start? I said, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I was trying to help her with the new phrasing when you're on the Sabine River. Because if you were at like Fork or something, everybody shoots for the dirty 30, right? So down here, I've named it all around for the Sabine. So you've got the Naughty Nine, the Elegant Eight, the Sexy Seven, the Sad Six, and the Furious Five. I mean, the Dirty 30 has a whole new level. And if you get to 10, we're going to celebrate. It's just a, it's a fun tournament to fish. You just got to keep wading through the little ones, try to catch a 12-incher, see if you can get one big bite. I had two good bites today, Dave, and I didn't do good with them. So I got I to gotta go back and... Go back to the campground here and knock my front end out from under my tundra on I-10 and see what them boys is doing. Because I was down here about 19 years ago and I had them same barrels out and no progress. I mean, <laughs> I, I want to just stop and say, hey, does anybody here got a map or a plan or a forecast? Because surely to God, we can get one side finished before I get to be 80. I mean, I know y'all suffer through it. I mean, who, whoever sells them orange cones, that's who's making the money down here. They, I'm telling you. 
I'm going to get me one of them, Lulu. I'm carrying it back to the camper and put it right up there by you and Kyler. Y'all jumping on a bicycle all day. See y'all tomorrow. Thanks for showing up. 5-1 yesterday. Looking for 8-3 here today. Watch this. 5-14, he says. I got nothing. I won nothing. Nothing. I got nothing. I could take them home and even make a good hot dog sandwich with the 10 I've caught down here. This place has got me kicked right in the willies, and I don't know. I don't know where you guys. Are. There's a fly out here flying around that bites everybody. And my marshal said they're deer flies. Is that what y'all call them? I figured it out because you're like, dear God, why'd you build them? And dear God, will they ever leave? They have bit me on my ankles, my face, my neck. I mean, you just need a full fan. That's what them airboats need to do is just get behind you and blow them off of you. Because them things, when the fish ain't biting, they can make it second guess your religion going down them canals. I. I'm telling you, Dave, it's been a rough one on me this week. It just, uh, no big bites. I uh, love coming down here. It fishes tough. Everybody knows that. It's no big secret. You got to get out there and grind it. You just got to get a few big bites. But most excitement I had last night was in the campground. Oh, well, yeah, I heard it was a little bit sporty over at the campground. Tell me what happened. Well, I had to pull Debo off the movie Friday and chase the bad guy down on my wife's bicycle that happened to be doing some, uh, to say, domestic violence going down the road in the car. And the woman was yelling for help. And, Carl was in his boat, and I said, come on, Australian, let's go. She's hanging out of the car, and I jump on my wife's bike, and you can just imagine, I look like a giraffe on a three-wheeler riding this dude down. Hey, you'd be surprised on the second lap. I about turned my yellow lights on and caught him, and to make it all good, didn't even have a shirt on. My wife said, this is some Alabama, East Texas, redneck stuff going on in the campground. But, hey, you just can't sit around and let somebody get hurt. Carl said, what are we going to do? I said, Carl, you caught three pounds a day and I caught five. We're going to take out our frustrations on him if he stops. And he said, good idea, mate. He said, I'll kick him in the head and say, three pounds, three pounds. So, you know, it's always a, it's always a lot of stories with our, with our life. And when we travel, that my wife just laughs all the time because a girl wrecked her bicycle at a campground the other day. When she looked up, I'm toting a 10-year-old girl running her back through the campground to her mom, and she's bleeding. She says, why you? I'm like, I don't know. They just wrecked in front of me. But one day we'll write a book. It's, hey, Dave, I got my granddaughter. It's her first bass tournament ever come to all the way start to finish. She's been to weigh-ins, but she come with Leanne and I this week. That's her yaya. She's worked good. She's helped me get the waters in the boat. I didn't make any money, Kyler, so I ain't going to be able to pay you no money. So let's go to the store and get some of them tater chips you like. Tastes like pizza, okay? That's all you're getting. Before you leave, I mean, tough tournament, but when you see signs like that in the crowd, dude, that is what you are to this sport. Man, it's been unbelievable. The, the PMA uh, apparel and the Slackliner apparel has really took off. Uh, you know, I've been doing positive mental attitude seminars for years now, and I do a lot of corporate motivation speaking, and it's mostly from the troubles I've been through in my life. Uh, losing a brother, fighting through tough times, and I've learned over the years the only way I could get through life and try to smile was keep a positive mental attitude. So it, you'll see that PMA around, and it, you'll see the hashtag under it. And I think sometimes people just need hope. They need to be inspired, and I never really realized it till we launched the clothing line. And you get here and you see signs like that, and we have people who come up with testimony that they bought a bracelet, they watched the videos, they've been battling cancer, they drove to the way in to give me a cross or a necklace. It really is humbling. It makes this pill today that I didn't get. Because when I go out, I'm a competitor, guys. I may get up here and laugh about it, but deep down inside, I am some kind of angry when I fail at what I love to do. But this is the only way I can keep balance is having that right mindset. And when I see the fans come out, all of a sudden I realize you know, finishing 80th ain't the end of the world. I still got a great job. I got a great fan base, and I love each and every one of you. Thanks for making the world a better place. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. I know you're going to get loud, ladies and gentlemen. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish here today. Twenty-one pounds and an ounce. He moves into fourteenth place currently. Twenty-one one, and sitting in fourteenth place currently. That's all right. Keep catching them like that. You probably be sticking around here for a while. I need to. I've had four rough tournaments in a row, and I, I knew coming up here, I had three tournaments to battle back thirty-two places to get in the classic and. I wear the hat that says positive mental attitude, and I live by it. So I went out today saying just try to get you enough to move up 10 or 12 places per event. Don't try to do it all in one tournament. And it worked out. I caught some. 
Had a few boo-boos this morning, but it's smallmouth fishing. It's fun to be up here and try to learn it. Use all your electronics and go around there. I mean, I just go bring around there screaming. If you ain't scoping, you just hoping, bro. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I done took five ibuprofen. My neck's bent over. I look like one of them big white cranes just pecking down. It's okay if you're a little bitty fella like I can Ellie when you live scoping because he's just eye level with it. I'm way up here. I got two different contacts in. I got glasses on. I'm like, was that a dot? I'm trying to wipe it off. I mean, it's a young man's game, but I'm going to hang in there with it. You're hanging in the big way. Keep it rolling. 21 pounds, 11 ounces today. With 42 pounds, 12 ounces, Gerald Swindle inside the top 10 in sixth place currently. Definitely fishing them all. G, you came into this event and you said you needed a big finish, you know, at the tail end of the season. And, man, you've done your job here this week. Two things. I want to try to make a little run at trying to sneak back into Classic. And I want to close the year out on a, on a good note, you know, when you have three or four rough ones in a in a row, and the, and the ones I had bad really wasn't that bad. I just jump off one here, there, and miss the cut. So I want to come in and clean some of that up. And I'm learning a lot more about using live scope and just committing to it all day and looking down at it. But now well, they're going to come out with some kind of medicine or something. There's going to be anglers go to the chiropractor with like scope neck or something because everybody's looking down. I'm going to be in the grocery store at Publix just walking around looking at my feet. I'm going to live scope through life. I got so disoriented out there because I never look up. I yelled at a guy twice and realized it was me. I just fished behind myself. I was going in circles. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even look up. I'm like, where am I? And I it's, that's how focused you stay on that screen all day. You just keep chunking around. I'm on. A, I'm looking forward to getting back out there tomorrow. Hackney just said the wind's going to blow. Did you hear that? I just heard it was going to be cooler, and I like that. Anytime it gets cooler up here, it means it's going to blow. And if we, I'm thinking about getting Lisa on some steroids or something. After she lifts all these fish up, she's going to be depleted. Maybe get her a back brace. You should help her give her a Why are you guys being so rough on her? I mean, be a gentleman. <laughs> Weigh in a little one once in a while. She told me she isn't training like like some type of workout, so I'm catching all I can. I want to get her like I'm get her ready for hunting season. You're doing your job, and I'm looking forward to seeing you hunt down that classic bird. 42 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day. Five fish to add to that here today. Looking for 21.9 to get inside the cut. 19 pounds, six ounces. He moves into 16th place currently with 62 pounds, two ounces. Some big points for Gerald Swindle and a great payday here in Macomb County, Michigan. 62 pounds and two ounces. And gee, I mean, you came into this in a very unfamiliar position. I mean, you down in the points, you've talked about it. But man, PMA played through this week and uh, one event down, two more like this, and you'll right the ship and be good, headed back to the Bassmaster Classic. I put myself in a bad position. I mean, if you're going to be a hole digger, you got to dig a big hole and then start digging out. And I'm, I've always been a hole digger. I, I dug this hole with a back hole and then tried to climb out using popsicle sticks, but I'm going to get there. I had to get it done here today and catch enough to try not to back up. But it's tough on out there when you're trying to live scope with two bad knees and them big boats. My live scope, my Garmin spent more time out of the water. I seen two airplanes, an Osprey. I said, there's four people on that island. Ski boats come. I said, there's three people in there. One of them's drinking Budweiser. Imagine that. I said, look here. I mean, it's that's a tough day when you're trying to see that just graft and watch all day. Mentally, it's exhausting and you just kind of spinning around in circles, but it's what you got to do up here to survive. And I think the area that me and Jason Christie was in and we just... We kind of called them all out. He said, what do you think, Eric? He always calls me cowboy. I call him engine. I said, I think we've cleared the reservation engine. We need to go somewhere else. He said, I've got nowhere to go. He said, both times I've won, it's been on the Indian reservation, and I can't go back. I said, yep, see, we got you already. We ain't letting him go back over. He goes over. He said, if I go over, I open the line. Well, they just jump in, G. I said, see, that's unfair. You believe that? That, that should be illegal. I've seen him do it, though, man. That guy pull up out here in the parking lot and catch 16 pounds. So it's tough. No, it ain't, but... Me and him looking at each other says tough today. I said, Jason, we're just getting older. We can't see him. He said, we just can't see him. But I got a little work to do when I get to the next tube. I'm going to jump out there and get it done. This place is incredible. I actually like the venue coming out up here. I know we went out of Metro Beach my whole career. I kind of like this part of the world up here. I don't know. They say we way up north, but I've seen a lot of good old rednecks just like me. So anytime y'all want to have a barbecue, y'all call me over in this part of the world because I come show you how to put the corn on the grill and the hog in the ground, and we'll have a good time. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Gerald Swindle. Speaking of best friends, this is one of my best friends. Let's bring in a two-time angler of the year from Gunnersville, Alabama, the incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish for Gerald Swindle here today. 
Good times out there? No. Okay. All right. Five fish here today. 18 pounds in an ounce, puts you in 44th place. So you're inside the top 50. Uh, one of them went on to the big mentor pond in the sky. He got that VMC hook just a little too deep. I told him don't be nibbling on it, but he did. And he got, well, he decided he wanted just. He didn't even wait long before he died. I tried to give him mouth to mouth. I put the G-Juice right on him. I put some chest compressions on him. Then he made me mad. I put him in the side of the live well and didn't even turn the aerator on. I said, you can't get more dead than that. You dead. I mean, you Elvis dead. You ain't coming back. So you can ride on there by your own self. I've just had a rough year, Dave. I, I, I got no excuses. I just can't execute. It's just been one of them years where no matter what happens, it seems like they're just jumping off left and right. And I just... I don't know. Sometimes you try to you think about all that stuff, but after 24 years, I know sometimes you just got to get lucky. I mean, I, look at I'm married outside my coverage. Sometimes you just got to get lucky, and I just hadn't had that flow of luck this year. Seems like when I finally do get a big bite, I'll lose them at the boat. And I do apologize to my partner today, Mr. Warren, because I finally lost another big one. And I said things, even though he'd been deployed three times to Iraq, I think I said some things that he was blushing about. But y'all, hey, there's my marshal right there. Y'all, thank you for your service. Big man done been deployed, retired from the military, and come back. He won't let me take his picture, so I don't know what he did over there. But he, he's like a ghost when that camera comes on. Whoop, he's out of the way. Whoop, he's out of the way. And I told him, I said, you know, you can stay positive. I've tried to do everything and just keep your mind in the game. But sometimes you just got to get a little luck, and uh, I'm going to go home and sleep on it, try to get back out there tomorrow. I think it's going to be a little bumpy, a little lumpy. I don't know. if, if you're, Did your grandma ever make lumpy oatmeal? Not this lumpy. Mine had ashy feet and lumpy oatmeal. She could slide across the hardwood floor to church and sand it down. She'd make that gum, that big old plate of grits. You couldn't jump it with a bicycle. I said, that's what it felt like out there today. So my guy said, I, it's kind of like riding a Hummer over in Iraq. I said, wait till we go back. We got over here. He said, okay, they're not quite the same. This has got a built-in shower. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Gerald Swindle. 18-1 at the start of the day today. Five fish to add to that here today. We want Gerald Swindle to be part of semifinal Sunday. 18 pounds, 7 ounces with 36 pounds, 8 ounces. He moves into 13th place currently. Top 50 get a chance to fish on semifinal Sunday. <laughs> 36 pounds, 8 ounces, and... Um, it's going to be close. Oh, God, is it going to be close. I'm talking about nasty close. I mean, like, close like one of my first girlfriends at a junior high dance. She almost said yes, but she didn't. I mean, I could I could smell the air supply playing in the old gym, but she said no right there center court. So, I mean, if it's that close, I'm going to be heartbroken. But now there's always a chance. You know, I can ask Lulu to dance. She's probably going to say yes, so. Honey, if we make it, we're going to dance. If we not, well, we're going to dance anyway, I guess. Got to mourn our souls here. This, uh, this lake's pretty tricky, man, and I knew they were going to catch them. Ever since live scope's been introduced into fishing, the weights never go down on day two, and you know that. You know you got to step it up, and I thought it was going to be, you know, I had 18-1 yesterday sitting in 59th. I thought, man, I better cover at least 19 pounds, so I'm a little short. Now I'm just going to sit back and chew my fingernails. Have you always been a big air supply fan? No, I didn't like them after they turned me down. I said, I don't even like that band no more. If I, they give me tickets, I'd give them back to them. I still heartbroke over that gym floor. I even wore my old Converse. I was ready to slide around on the baseline and shoot some three-pointers. Nope, I got to go home. That's, but, you know, when you're 14, that stuff hurts, Dave. Well, thanks for opening up to us. <laughs> well, I'm just going to get in touch with my feminine side, you know. But I was ready. I'd been practicing my moves in the mirror. I had that slow dance down pat, but. I was best saving, and I'm probably going to be to break it out to the church dance when I retire one time, though. It's a clean dance. Is it? When, about, about, when you got bad knees, it's all clean dance. I used to do the stanky leg. Now I just do the bold out crooked leg. I just kind of ease around. So my stanky leg days is over. It's just cripple leg now. We'll see y'all later. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Swindle. 36 pounds and 8 ounces. Five fish here today. It's not all about the weight, it's style points. You're gonna see this here in a second. Five fish, 17 pounds of five ounces. Digging deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. Everybody talking about smallmouth. And she just wants to remind you that it's not just all smallmouth. This is one of the most versatile fisheries in the world. Both brown and green. Did that just style points? You should get an extra few points for that. I'd give it to you if I was in charge. 
caught him on a jig, a little balling out, 15 foot, and I'm wearing the hat, and I slacklined every bit of him. I said, boy, this ain't no spinning rod. Surprise, you little hooker. And then I just turned the rod straight at him, just did it like a third grade pencil sharpener, just rank, rank. I'm like, yeah, we ain't playing now. I'm tired of spinning rods. If I ever fall out of an airplane, I want three spinning rods with drop shots tied on them because you will not make it to the ground. You'll be hung up somewhere. Them things wrap up in that boat when you run. Chris Angel couldn't. O.J. Simpson's lawyer can't figure out how to get the knots out when I got there. They're tied up everywhere. And I'm like, I just ran 300 yards, and now I'm retying again with my bad eyes. And I sit out there thinking about Champlain. I think that's a French word, and it stands for, like, flat bottom boats or something like that because it's a rough place and then i found out woodstock wasn't too far from here and i said what well, ain't that where they wrote the song flat bottom girls huh that's the men bringing their wives out here fishing when it's windy that's what happens to you i promise you i found i spent more time in the air and i spent in the seat out there I, this place beats me down i said i should have went to woodstock got on that stuff they was in just drifted around out here but the more you think I hear, the matter you get. Now I'm understanding why so many liquor stores between here and the campground. I'm just saying. You may have cracked the code. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Gerald Swindle. He is a two-time progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gunnersville, Alabama. The incomparable G-Man, Gerald Swindle. Five fish for Gerald Swindle here on day number one. Stop number nine. 21 pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into 24th place currently. Let's hear it for G. Twenty-one fifteen. so a decent day today, G. <laughs> you get 21 15, so let's go ahead and call that 22. Where I'm from, we like building houses, you know. We, we never call it out by the eighth of an inch. If you get within a quarter, I said, we ain't building cabinets, we're building houses. So my book, that's 22 pounds, and we ain't hard to beat anybody. That's that's what's got me a little frustrated, and I ain't so sure I can catch it tomorrow. I mean, everybody's like, boy, this lake's great. It is, but some days I don't catch jack out there. All I do is ride around them waves, get my knees all jacked up. I ain't never seen so many big boats going down there, and you know it's rough when you see one of them cigar boats get in the mouth of the river, and he changes all of his mind, goes back home. I said, what do you think he's thinking? I said, he's thinking cutting the grass today ain't a bad idea after all. I said, we ain't going out there neither. I mean, it's a... Lake makes you make a few decisions. You got to figure out which way you want to go and how bad you want to beat yourself up. And I tried to stay in the river and make it work, but I might have to really pick it up because I see somebody on number 29.6. That's just crazy, man. I, I need no small mouth guy to be. Yeah, new record for here. It's going to be my new record just to look at. I just want to put it. Honey, if, can you take that guy's name out and make it look like I caught that and send that to my mother? She won't know any difference. Sure, go ahead and do it. I mean, you're much a chance with that happening as us turning your weight into 22 pounds. Well, if this weather don't straighten up, I've been hot and cold and hot and cold. This weather moves up and down like a hooker's pants around here. It's never the same. I can tell y'all why y'all always got a jacket on and a hoodie, because y'all know any minute it's going to get cold. At home, it's 115 in the air conditioning. The day I'm out there shivering and shaking, I said, this is ridiculous. When I call home and say, I froze to death, there's somebody going to shoot me. Let's hear it for Gerald Swindle, ladies and gentlemen. 2115, yes, it today. 19 pounds, 12 ounces, with 41 pounds, 11 ounces. Gerald Swindle moves into 13th place currently. And we'd love to have him here on semifinal Saturday. 4111, it's going to be close. If it takes more than that, I'll just take my butt whooping and go home. It better not be close. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm ready for the weights to come down a little bit. Like gas prices and inflation, I'm looking for it to come down a little bit. I know we all thinking the same thing. When you pull up the gas pump, you're thinking, I got to get more children and trade them in for something. It's high. You put that gas in that Phoenix and run out there to Glue Island and make a big loop like I did and run to another island. I don't even know what you call that thing. Went over to Henderson Bay, see any family members. I come back through Shamo. I've seen four boats the whole time. I'm like, where are they catching them at? It ain't nowhere in this hemisphere. But I'm about 48 gallons of gas less, and that's about all I caught today. I just didn't have any other opportunities. I thought if I could catch 19 pounds. I, I really trying to make the classic. It's getting really close, and I knew I needed 23 today to try to start getting inside that top 10. I felt like a top 10 here would make the classic. But all you can do is all you can do, folks. You know, you ever just give it all you got, you just didn't have enough to eat the chocolate cake. Some days you just don't get chocolate cake, you get vanilla wafers. 
And when I grew up, we didn't have the good vanilla wafers. We had them in the black and white box. They called them Niller wafers. You could put them in milk, chew them up, and they wouldn't get soft. I'm telling you. But when you ain't got nothing else, my mama got the cereal looked like a big dog food bowl. She just come out there with this big plastic sack. It said Poop Loops. It wasn't even Fruit Loops. So today I didn't get to eat chocolate cake. I got to eat Poop Loops. So there you go. Let's hear it for Gerald Swindle, ladies and gentlemen. 22 pounds, 11 ounces. Gives him 64 pounds and 6 ounces. Let's hear it for Team Toyota's Gerald Swindle. 64 pounds, 6 ounces. You move into 24th place. So going to call an end to your season. But, uh, gee, finishing on a high note with a great crowd here this week. It is a good crowd, man. I tell you, the sun come out. Everybody wants to come outside. Y'all got tired of it raining, didn't you? You come up here, you just put your rain gear on when you get out of the truck because it's going to happen before today's over. This weather's moody. It's kind of like a redhead I dated back in junior high. She's moody, son. Because one minute you'll be sweating, the next minute you'll be shaking. You have no idea what's about to happen. Dave, I just didn't want to try to go too far on the lake today. I haven't been up way out, and I felt like if I ran out there, you know, I could jeopardize the guys in the AOY race. Technically, I thought I was out of the classic, so I stayed in the river and had my own river tournament. If I go out there on that lake and run around, I'll be stiff, folks. I'm talking about stiff, like a matchbox full of rats with Viagra poured all over. I won't be able to walk. So I'm just going to lay up in the river and just take it easy a little bit. Now, it still gets choppy out here. I don't know what these folks right down this next 10 miles do for a living, but apparently it's drive a boat real fast. It's big because it's nasty out there. But this place is always impressive. You know, you can just catch them deeper than I've ever seen. I didn't even know. I, at one time, I thought Satan had my weight out there. I dropped it down so far. You get out there and you just keep zeroing out. And I'm going to go down to 75 and see if you can catch one. But it's been a great season. I had some highs and lows. At the middle of the season, I really struggled, got it back together. But to everyone who's out there supported Leanne and I this year, sponsors, we want to thank you. And we did. Lulu and I launched the Slackliner brand, the hat I'm wearing. It's all about the hook set. If you're a Slackliner, you know me. When I jig fish, I'm going to get mine. When they bite it, I'm smacking them right in the face. I mean, like God hit them. We also launched the PMA clothing line. It's done really well. We want to inspire and motivate. So if anybody's interested in our apparel, you can get on our website and look, you know, check it all out. But we try to live our life, it's all about the attitude. Find the good in everything, whether it's, you know, some days it seems like in the world that we live in right now, if you watch the news, you won't find anything good in nothing. I just, I want one news station, can't play nothing but good news. That's it. This, when you turn it on, I don't care where it come from, I want good news. So we really started promoting to try to stay, uh, uh, keep the positive mental attitude. And, and I've had such a great trip up here this north that when I did the Northern Swing, I fished with two retired military guys. And, you, you know, when you hear the national anthem, it's different when you stand in a boat with a soldier and you realize when you see a soldier come to attention here in the national anthem when no one's looking, you realize what that guy's done for this country. When he did that salute at Champlain, it almost gave me chills. I'm like, that's what it's all about, and that's why I'm out here. So to all the military, y'all make it possible for us to run the road. We love you guys. Thank you.